We are back on the cruise, playing as Constable Zellner. Okay, let's talk to Constable Oliver. He's not sleeping on the job. He won't let me talk to our young friend. He respects Legrand far too much to disobey his orders. If I want to get into the cargo hold, I'll have to get rid of the constable first. Oh. The stowaway surely didn't sleep well last night in the cargo hold. Although his cell is probably more comfortable than my cabin. And more spacious. Whoa. I have to talk to the young fellow right away. If I want to get into the cargo hold, I'll have to get rid of the constable first. He won't let me talk to our young friend. Hmm. Okay. What's and that? what about the other gunshot? Could the second missing bullet from the murder okay. weapon be stuck down there in one of the wooden crates? Could be, could be. Okay, so how do we get him off of there then? Okay. I don't see very much we can do. We'll have to go back and up or something, I don't know. You missed the stairs, dude. Oh, well, almost. Alright, can we do anything new here? No. Whoa. Seven pipes. This isn't a panoramic deck for visitors. There are pipes, steel cables, chains up here. You can smell the smoke from the funnel. I have no idea how the ship works, and I really don't care, as long as it stays afloat. Okay, cool. Um... What do we do now? I had some hints right in the secrets, I think. Yeah, that one and that one. I don't really know what I'm going to do with those hints, but sure. Um, I don't know, I missed something in the Baroness's cabin? Oh, An hello. An antique wooden globe. If Galileo hadn't asserted himself back then, this would be a flat disc now. Actually, people in the Middle Ages didn't really believe the world was flat. That's like an after construction because people thought they were stupid in the Middle Ages. Most people have thought that the world was either spherical or they didn't care, or they thought that the world was like some other shape, like, I don't know, I don't remember. Um, facts from QI. And, um, but there is, there is, um, a, um, group of people today, I don't remember what they're called, um, who think that the world is flat. Like, there are more people today who think the world is flat, frankly, than, like, back then. So, not, not as, no, people didn't think the world was flat as much as we learned today that they did from my knowledge. The globe nicely shows that four-fifths of the Earth's surface is covered by water. Looking out the window, I'd call that an understatement. Though, no, maybe not everyone thought it was spherical, but it was not flat. Should look at my QI book again, but yes, that's... The death of his mistress doesn't really bother Inch. He's only worried about his own future. The death of his... Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> I guess our stowaway knocked me out. Whatever his story is, he's not a thief. Nothing's missing from my wallet. Cool. I guess our... What? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, Baroness's cabin again, maybe? 
or something. If you notice a little pause there, it was total ninja pause because I had to cough. I didn't do this last time. Another alarm. It was tripped at some point. The seal is broken. But there's no way of telling whether it happened yesterday or five years ago. True, true. Oh. Hmm. There should be a ventilation shaft behind the hatch. Usually a good way to break in and out undetected. But we run a ship. The ventilation shafts are very small here. I can't say why, and it seems impossible. But something tells me that the murderer entered and left the cabin through the door. The only question is how. Well... Hmm... I guess I'll- No, 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 not that. Boo-hoo. Boo-hoo. Why can't I not? <sighs> Is there really nothing I missed? Come on, 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 come on. There was one. Okay, there's only one. No, wait, was that? Oh, yeah, that, that one too. I don't even have time to see all these. Anything back there? There's all my points here. Um, no, there's nothing more to... Ah, well, we look at those two stuff. Thingies, at least. Um... Oh my gosh, so stuck, so stuck. <clears throat> I did not see. Um. Oh, he's having a plant. Cool. A pitiful attempt to make the interior of the ship seem less dreary. A bit of paint on the walls would have helped more, especially since a plant won't survive long without daylight. True. Sure. Hmm. There are little stones in the flower pot. Not only does the poor plant have to make do without sunlight, it doesn't have any soil either. Hopefully it's a plastic plant. Really? What am I supposed to do with stones? I don't know. Put them in your pocket and we'll figure it out. Although, sooner or later... Exactly. Put them in your pocket and we'll figure something out, dude. Together. Special price only for you. Only for you, my friend. Only for you. Only today. Only for you. Special price. Oh, what, what was that? Oh, that was just that. I still have 13. Th oh, I've got like new adventure points. QL. He's only using the force sometimes. It's gliding over the floor. I keep on sick. All right, we will try the stones everywhere, cause we can. Uh, we have go downstairs in Baroness's cabin here. Okay, stones, stones, no. All right, let's throw stones in the cabin. <laughs> No? No. 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 Fine. Fine. Be that way. If you're gonna be that way, then be that way. I don't care. Actually, I do. 
<sighs> Throw in my stones. Nope. I'm going to have to use a walkthrough soon. I am losing patience fast. I mean, it would be fun to be able to do it on my own, but like. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we do something with Oliver with the stones? Like distract him or something? Maybe? I'm thinking. Maybe that could work, right? 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 Please? No? Yes? No? Please? No. Alright, let's try it. That's like one of our big missions right now. I don't really, I can't really think of anything else, so. We kind of have to do right now. Can't we use the stones for anything? Oh, come on. Maybe upstairs? I don't know. He won't let, he was, if I. Oh, yes. I am trying to get rid of him. Be a little more helpful, dude. Nope, okay, let's go up the stairs. This is the only place I haven't tried my stones on yet. <sighs> come on, come on, come on, please. Why am I doing all this stupid singing? No, no stones anywhere. No. What? Search the corner. There's dirt piled up in the corner. Down below, where the passengers are, the ship is pretty clean, but the crew doesn't seem to care as much up here. But, but, oh, there's nothing in the corner, dude. I totally lost some points, yeah. Yeah, it's like 10 points. Duh. She should have to be like quick. To see the stuff. Um. Okay, let's see what the hints do. Does hints do. Um. Looking for clues. Cabin. Uh, let's just take a hint and see what happens. That oh, was like a hundred points. The cargo holds can't get the murder. Yeah. Search the cabin 30 for clues. That is of no help whatsoever, game. <sighs> Wait, was that a hundred points? I gotta check. I think so. Would be logical. That was a hundred points, yeah. Okie dokie. I have nothing. Nothing. I don't think you can talk to anyone either. Can I? Maybe I triggered something I don't know about. Please help me. I shouldn't bother him. <sighs> Peeps. Peeps. I'm sure Captain Dick. Peeps. People, help. No one is going to help me. They don't want to help me. What am I missing here? <sighs> What am I supposed to do with my inventory? Like, super limited inventory? Hello? Talk to the butler. He doesn't want to talk. Saloon.
we've been everywhere. Gonna distract Oliver somehow, and that's what I when that's why I thought like stones. Right? No? Why not? Enter cabin, go downstairs. Hearts say the blood spot looks strange, and I'd like to take a sample. Maybe I'll get the chance to analyze it. Sorry, I just like. I don't care what Legrand and Doctor Gebhardt say. The blood spot looks strange. Maybe I'll get the chance to en. Yeah, I still can't take it, dude. I will continue searching. Okay, I admit, I cheated because I didn't find the ice bucket. The alcoholic drinks and everything that goes with them is top-notch on this ship. As expected, fresh ice and tongs. There. Constable Zelda, what is the meaning of this? Are even the police light-fingered nowadays? I need this tool for a criminal investigation. Well, then, why didn't you say so? But bring the tongs back when you're done. Otherwise, I'll have cold fingers all day. <laughs> funny, funny, dude. All right, now we can go get the vase. I think we're missing his, an achievement too. Oh well. La 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 la. Okay, so that was the detail I missed. Oh, I thought I looked everywhere. It was too near the captain. Ah. How to be more thorough. Th thorough. Thorough? Here we go. Ha! Pliers. Or tongs with vase. With vase. Could work. There's something in there. Ah. Someone stuffed this in the vase. Looks like it's been used to muffle a gunshot. If this isn't an important discovery, I don't know what is. <gasps> cool. Legrand, here I come. Alright, awesome. Let's go back to him. Now we're totally on again. I don't basically like everything except. A singed pillowcase is proof that there must have been a second gunshot. Whoa. In <gasps> Pecto? Oh jeez, what is he doing? Can't you knock? I uh, didn't realize. I'm really I I'm not getting anywhere. I'm going to question each passenger individually. Anyone without an airtight alibi will be checked for gunshot residue. But, Inspector... People trip up when you put pressure on them, Constable Zellner. The Raven is nervous. He's changed his methodology and become a murderer. I think you're getting a bit too... obsessed. I think you're a bit too obsessed. I'll see it in his eyes. After you. But, Inspector Legrand... We have no proof that the Raven and the murderer are the same person. Quite the opposite. The Baroness's message hints at the fact that she knew the murderer and that he'd killed before. You may not know it, but I do. I will catch him with or without your help. Wow, oh, dude. Dude. Um... <laughs> Did he spit I on don't you? believe it. What's gotten into him? Oh, well. It makes no sense to tell him about my theories if his opinion is already set. 
Yeah. I need evidence. Or better yet, the murderer. I also need his lab if I'm going to get anywhere. I need to get in there somehow. And I really need to talk to the stowaway. He may have information, and the inspector will just ignore him, since he's too young to be the raven. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere here. The grand locked the door. The lock isn't especially secure. If I had a wire or something like that, I could probably pick it. Oops. Hey, let's go find ourselves a wire! Oops. Okie dokie. So, is he in here maybe? Yes. Oh, the violinist. Mr. Kreitzer, come on, you have to give me a bit more. You're the only one who was on the train and who has no alibi for last night. As I said, I was in my cabin. Are you sure that it was your cabin and not the Baroness's? Legrand will question the guests one after another. But if he doesn't get the answers that he wants to hear, it could become unpleasant for them. Yeah. Lady Westmacott, may I bother you for a moment? By all means, Mr. Zellner. How is the questioning going? Are you implying that I'm an eavesdropper? The inspector is placing a lot of pressure on our dear Mr. Kreutzer. He's the only one who was on the train and who doesn't have an alibi for last night. Perhaps. But him? A murderer? I know people like him. He doesn't have enough backbone to kill someone in cold blood and remain so calm. He'd turn it into a drama and then a farce, drink himself insensible and then, railing at fate, pitch himself into the sea. Forget him. Legrand is wasting his time. Mr. Kreutzer just happens to be a perfect fit for the inspector's image of the raven. Athletic, cultured, moves among the rich and famous. I'll eat his violin if he's the raven or the murderer. I have to be going, Lady Westmacott. She's Please keep me so informed, Constable Zellner. So of course. She's like Miss Marple, but with more attitude. It's great! Great, 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 great. Legrand is absorbed in the interrogation. He still seems pretty annoyed. The violinist seems to be bearing the brunt of it. Yeah. Legrand will attend to the interrogations, and I'll handle the investigation. I won't talk to him again until I'm ready to present the murderer. Oh, that might be a good idea. Legrand, I... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, let's go out here. Oh! Captain De Conti seems old and tired. The price you pay for a life like his, I suppose. I'm sure Captain... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Miss Myers. Hello, darling. Where you been? Miss Myers seems to have found an opportunity to do nothing. Hello, Miss Myers. Hello, Mr... Uh, Constable Zelda. Do you think it's appropriate to go sunbathing in a situation like this? What situation? A woman was murdered last night. If refusing to sunbathe could bring the dead back to life, I'd go back to my cabin immediately. Hmm. Did you hear or see anything suspicious last night? No, I didn't feel very well last night. I went to bed early. So, you're feeling better this morning? Thanks for asking. Tag is blood. I'm sure your parents are truly sorry that they can't be with you at this difficult time. Maybe. But I'm not a little girl anymore. And thinking about my fiancé keeps me going. You... you're engaged? Yes. 
My boyfriend and I got engaged right before the trip. I want to surprise my parents, especially my dad. I'm sure he'll be very surprised. But what will you do if your father doesn't agree to the engagement? What choice does he have when he put me on this boat full of thieves and murderers in the first place? Charming. Enjoy the sun, very Miss charming. Mayers, and don't let us disturb you. If you're trying to make me feel guilty, Constable, it's not working. She is one nice American. Or person. Hey, I'm in person. Of course. Did I say American? Oops. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, she's one nice, spoiled little lady. Cool. At least we found her. Alright, now we're like triggering everything. I've done pretty good this thus far, right? Which is teensy weasel -teen detail I checked, okay? Matt is keeping himself busy with that strange game. He seems to be okay again, Ooh. but I think he'd be running around all over the place if he'd really come to terms with what happened on the train. Hello there, partner. Hi. Are you all right? Uh-huh. Have you recovered from our adventure? Mm-hmm. Um, Mr. Zellner? Mm-hmm? What's going on? What do you mean? Everybody's acting so strange. And there's tape across that door. I saw that in a movie once. You don't have to be worried. Is it about the man from the train? It might be about the thief, yes. Haven't you caught him yet? I'm working on it. Okay. I heard you and your mom used to argue a lot. We did. Everything was bad. The house, school, the other kids. We didn't have much money, and I was always alone. You do know that your mother would love to have been with you, don't you? She had to go out to work to earn money. She wouldn't have had to if Dad were still around. Mm. And how do you get along with her now? I'm always happy when we do something together on vacation. She has more time for me now, and I like my boarding school. I have lots of friends, and the teachers aren't so bad. Mm, good. Your mother and Professor Lucien seem to be on very good terms with each other. Mm. Don't you like him? No, yeah. don't know. He, has he nice seems to language. be very nice. I guess. Lady Westmacott is all by herself in the saloon. Maybe you'd like to visit her later. Sure. The lady tells exciting stories. I know. She's my favorite writer. She told me that it's not much fun to write detective novels. She'd rather write something else, but her fans always want the same thing. They made her rich and famous. I told her to write what she wants to write. If it's good, someone will buy it. And if not, at least she had fun writing That is very true. Then she true. smiled and nodded. She said it was a good idea. That's... that's what you should do. That's totally, totally how you should, if you can, as much as possible, live your life. Like, do things because you want to do them. Like, I try to play the games I want to play. If no one watches them or likes them, I had fun recording them. And if people do, then, you know, fun for everyone. I had fun regardless. What are you playing there? I'm playing shuffleboard. At least I'm trying to. Never played it before. It's easy. Professor Lucian explained it to me. And who won? We didn't play. You didn't want to play with him, did you? Do you want to play a game with me? Sure. Whoa, minigame? Cool. I think you'll have to explain the rules to me first. Okay. You play with the blue pucks and I play with the red ones. You have to push the pucks with this stick into the zone over there and score as many points as possible. Sounds easy. How many pucks do I have? Six. Now here comes the kicker. First it's your turn, then mine, and so on. But, everyone is allowed to shoot the other person's pucks out of the zone. Sounds to me kind of like curling. Cool. Let's do it. Then let's get started. Oh yeah. What are we playing for? Uh, I thought we'd just play for fun. That's boring. We have to bet something. Otherwise it isn't fun. You English people. 
So I'll bet <laughs> my brand new slingshot. And you? I don't want to gamble. How about ice cream in Cairo? Okay. If I win, I get the slingshot. If I lose, I get an ice cream in Cairo. For him, I'm presuming. Hey! Never try to cheat Matt Miller. So, what do you say? <laughs> ice cream versus slingshot? Mm, all right. Let the games begin. Seems like a fair gamble. Oh, jeez, it's for real. It's for real, Z's. Okay. So we do it. Ooh, okay. Awesome. I didn't know how strongly you had to. Cool. Uh, let's see here then. <laughs> I'm kind of winning, right? Ooh, yes! No minus, please. Am I winning? I think I might need a slingshot. Maybe. Ah! Oh, I shot his ones out of there. Awesome. Oh, I won! That's it. Oh, man. The athlete wins the day. One more time. No, that's enough for me. All right. He can have a slingshot back. Here. Are you sure? Gambling debts are debts of honor. Aww. I'll give it back to you when I don't need it anymore, okay? Okay. But make sure my mom doesn't catch you with it. She thinks it's dangerous. Pretty sure it is dangerous. Dude. Oh, is that Miss Miller? I thought she... Did she have white hair now or something? What? Oh, well. Miss Miller and the professor are talking intensely. She seems pretty relaxed, by her standards. Oh, now I see. She's got one of those. Good morning, Miss Miller. Professor Lucien? Constable Zellner, how are you? I, I heard you passed out last night. Well, not quite. I was poisoned. Oh. That wretch! Who do you mean by that wretch? That stowaway. That new raven. The young man can't be the murderer. Constable Oliver had already apprehended him when the shot was fired. You mean... Whoever killed the Baroness is still on the loose. <gasps> I think I should take my leave. I I'd like to rest for a while. One last question, Professor. Do you think the eye is well protected in the safe in Legrand's cabin? Of course it is. They assured me that it would take hours of work with heavy machinery to crack the safe. And if Legrand isn't in his cabin, Constable Oliver or I check that everything is in order every hour. I understand. I want to go back to my cabin. I'll see you later, Mary. Oh, uh, of course. See you later. Aww. Sorry. I... I didn't want to interrupt your conversation with Professor Lucien so abruptly. I, uh... I don't know what's wrong with him. Learning that there's still a burglar on board seemed to frighten him. He was so relaxed the whole time, and then... Hmm. And then, the stupid Swiss constable came by and made him anxious. Oh, I didn't mean that. No matter. I'm sure he'll calm down and come back soon enough. May I ask you a few questions? Of course. How is Matt? He seems happy enough. After all the commotion, he's already back to his old self again. But I haven't told him about the murder. That would be a bit too much for him. I think he's made of sterner stuff. 
I want to thank you again for what you did on the train. I wouldn't have known... Everything's fine. Think nothing of it. How was last night for you? It was awful. I was having a conversation with Edgar, uh, Professor Lucien, here on the forecastle. Then I wanted to look for the lady and went forward via the side deck. When I passed the Baroness's cabin, I heard a muffled scream. You heard a scream? Yes. I thought the Baroness probably had a fall. I went to the door and listened for a moment. Since I couldn't hear anything, I knocked on the door and asked whether she was all right. There was no answer. Interesting. And then? I, I didn't know what to do, so I tried to open the door. It was locked. I saw the Baroness's butler, Mr. Inch, on the forecastle. I thought he might have the key and went back. On the way, That's the bobby crossed my path, and then Edgar, who wanted to check the safe. I explained the situation to him, and then the alarm went off. That is very interesting. How did the scream sound? It was a short outcry, very frightened, as if someone had been startled. Was it a woman's voice? Yes, the voice was high. So it could have been a scream from the Baroness. Possibly because she discovered someone in her cabin. Possibly. That person might have threatened her with a weapon, so that she wouldn't scream for help. Oh, God. He waited until the coast was clear. Oh, please, stop it, Mr. Zellner. <laughs> The Baroness's butler said that he was on the forecastle as well? Yes, he was standing on the other side of the deck smoking a cigarette. Was he on the forecastle the whole time? Uh, I'm not sure. He was there, and later he was on the side deck with us. Oh, yeah, yes, he, he looked after you while you were unconscious. He unbuttoned your collar and held your head while the doctor checked you. But you can't say for mm. certain whether he came from the forecastle with you and Professor Lucien. Or afterwards? Well, no. But where else could he have come <gasps> from? He could have come from the cabin. Everyone is suspicious. Did you report that to Inspector Legrand? Yes, last night. He was very interested and took a lot of notes. But I wanted to look for Lady Westmacott, and he let me go without further delay. He said that he'd take down my full statement today. I understand. Do you think the man from the train also killed the Baroness, Constable Zellner? I don't know yet. It's horrible. Explosions, thieves, murderers. This isn't the right place for a lady and a little boy. You and Professor Lucien seem to be having a lively conversation. Oh, yes. He's an expert in ancient Egyptian art and preeminent in hieroglyphic research. He's the head of the Egyptian department in the British Museum, you know. And he's going to open an exhibition at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Right. Uh, for the eye. They had planned on exhibiting both jewels together for the first time in decades, but that's not going to happen now, sadly. I think it's quite upsetting for him. We're working hard to ensure that at least one eye will be on display. I know. So much water. I'll ask Lady Westmacott if she'd like to participate in the opening of the exhibition. I think it would be good for her. And Professor Lucien will surely offer you a private tour. <laughs> You're American, aren't you? That's correct. And you moved to England because of the job? I lived in England before. During the Second World War, I volunteered. I worked in a pharmacy on a U.S. base north of London. Oh. In a pharmacy? Interesting. Very. Well, it was the war and everyone was sent where they could help best. Please, go on, Mrs. Miller. After the war, I studied music in London. I met my husband there. We married and went back to the States together. He was also American? No, English. But he said he had problems with his family and he wanted to be <laughs> as far from them as okay. possible. And you gave up your studies for him? Well, yes, I did. Life as a single mother couldn't have been easy. It was pretty tough then. I worked from morning till night, and it was still only enough for the bare necessities. And I couldn't give Matt all the attention he needed. No. And then, Lady Westmacott entered your life. It was like an angel appeared to me. She must have offered me the position out of pity. I had no experience as a carer. She made me a generous offer. I couldn't believe it. And she really adores Matt. Yeah, She's she offered does. him a good education, and now he has every opportunity in life. An almost unbelievable story. I'm still afraid that it's a dream and that I'll wake up one day. 
How does it feel to work for such a world-famous person? The work is very interesting and varied, and it pays well, too. You are very lucky that the lady offered the position to you. I just hope she won't change her mind one day. What would become of Matt's education then? I really make an effort to measure up to Lady Westmacott's expectations, but sometimes I feel like I fall short. Lady Westmacott couldn't ask for a better companion. I'm saving up as much money as I can all the same. I'd do anything That's so that Matt idea. doesn't have to give up his new life. Wow, she's really... she seems to be the really caring mother. Lady Westmacott dropped a hint on the train that she killed her hero, Partout. Pour what did she mean by that? Oh, she must have meant the manuscript. Manuscript? She always takes it with her. It's an unpublished Partout novel. I once asked her why she never published it. She said that according to her will, the novel's only to be published after her death. And in it, Partout will be killed? Maybe. I've never read it. No one has. You'd better ask her yourself. Poorly, poorly, Poirot. If you worked in a pharmacy, you would certainly know something about medicines and poisons. Everything is a potential poison constable. It depends on the dose. Have you ever heard of chloral hydrate? It's a tranquilizer, isn't it? I'm asking you. Well, Lady Westmacott also asked questions like that for her last novel. But since I've never wanted to kill anyone, I never bothered with things like strychnine and arsenic and strychnine all that. Is a I could recommend something Christie. for a headache, sore throat, or rash. That's kind of you, but there's really no need. I'll be seeing you, Miss Miller. Constable? Uh, I know Agatha Christie. She worked in uh, an apothecary. An apothe What's it called? What did it say? Apothecary? Is that a person? She she worked with that uh, during the uh, one of the world wars, just like Miss Miller, and that's where I, Agatha Christie learned a lot about poisons and stuff like that, and that's probably why most of her murders are, yeah, most of her murderers use poisons like strychnine is a favorite, and and stuff like that. So like oh all the Agatha Christie references, <gasps> I love it. Okay, so. We want to use- oh, we're so over time. I want to use the slingshot with these stones. The little yeah. stones make perfect ammunition for the slingshot. Now I just need a suitable target. Like a Constable Oliver, maybe? Yeah. Alright, but we're totally out of time. Oops, so we'll take a break. Stop here. Thank you all so much for watching. This game is great, is that right? It never ends either. It's great. I'm so happy. Alright, take care.